Oh, you guys, I work at a school. I don't even know what I can say without getting in trouble. Good morning, you guys. It is Friday, finally, and today is 95 of my Keto 365 Day Challenge. It's getting up there, you guys. Um, I was a little disappointed because I had done my dry fasting on Tuesday and Wednesday. I did a rehydration yesterday with water fasting. Stepped on the scale today. I had, let's see, two, three days to lose six pounds. Um, no, I was down to four, sorry, four pounds. And then I stepped on the scale today and I actually gained four ounces. And to be honest, I was kind of expecting that to happen because when you dry fast your cells they lose the moisture and so when you drink water it's going to reabsorb that and so i mean four ounces isn't the isn't the worst i'm not really upset about it but i was a little disappointed that it didn't go down but i set myself up for that because after dry fasting the scale normally does go up a little so unfortunately um I don't think I'll be making my goal tomorrow. It's it's disappointing, but I shouldn't be too far off from it. I'm just gonna water fast today and see what happens. And then I'm gonna keep it really super simple and really super clean this weekend. And hopefully I can get it to continue going down and catch up a little bit. Because on water fasting, you can expect to lose one to two pounds per day. On dry fasting you can expect to lose about three to four so when you start water fasting again you're gonna gain a little bit of that water weight back but you're not gaining the fat that you lost so you know what it it, it is what it is I'm not gonna get too down on it um, it is gonna be disappointed if I disappointing if I don't make that goal but if I don't I just have to keep it super clean and you know, I kind of did it to myself, so I'm taking full responsibility for that, and um, you just gotta learn. So, right now, I am making oh, it's early, sorry. I'm making lunches for my daughter and my husband. Uh, she is on keto as well, and for the most part. I don't I don't keep it too strict with her she can have like bananas and you know um, dif different things like smoothies and stuff like that so uh, with kids if you guys have them on keto or if you're thinking about keto for kids remember that it's not really about them losing weight unless under a doctor supervision it's more about slowing the weight gain to meet meet their height because they are still growing their bones are still growing their joints and everything it's they're still growing so they still need all of the healthy stuff so make sure that if you put them on keto it's like a lot of salads and a lot of um non-processed stuff so try and keep it as natural as possible and you should be just fine so she lost um 20 pounds on keto and then we kind of starly Charlie. we started slipping a little bit with her and letting her order more of the like not so keto friendly stuff so I have her back on keto because it it's a lot better than all of the, the stuff oh you guys I work at a school I don't even know what I can say without getting in trouble like that's how bad it is the foods that they are served full of sugar full of carbs I mean I think I counted one time like 53 carbs just in breakfast and that's total carbs and there's hardly any fiber it's just it's really sad I don't know. anyway so I'm trying to do the best I can with her and keep her on whole natural foods um, and then we'll see how it goes because I really want her to have a strong immune system I know when I got pregnant with her I ended up with pneumonia twice a year every single year and it got to the point where because of what I was eating and just, I guess, my DNA or something, I don't know. But I ended up getting sick and I would not get better for like a month. Then, um, then I would get better 
and then I'd get sick again and it would always turn into pneumonia. And so the problem with pneumonia is the fact that you, it ruins your immune system, it shoots it down. And so every time I was getting sick, I was getting sick sick. So I finally went to the doctor after a triple, triple sinus infection. They couldn't figure out what was wrong, but I lost the hearing in my left ear. And that was actually a very scary time. I didn't know what was going on. I knew I had a sinus infection, but I didn't know it was a triple one. So I went to the ENT, the ears, nose, and throat doctor, and he had to do like, had to check it all out and whatever. And this, this, and this were both, or all three sinus infections. And then that's what caused the hearing loss. And I was on three rounds of antibiotics and a round of steroids before it even went away. After that, I went to my doctor and I told him, hey, you need to check me for everything under the sun. I don't care, you need to do it because I'm getting sick and I have no idea why. Now, mind you, my doctor is a very, um, al not alternative doctor, but he prefers to do natural methods rather than put somebody on a pill. Like when, um, when I had a, a cough really bad, he put aluminum foil on my fingertips and it helped my coughing. Anyway, that's my kind of doctor. So he did test me and found out that I was actually vitamin D deficient. And that's why my body wasn't absorbing any nutrients because at the time I was actually juicing. So if I wouldn't have been getting all the vitamins and stuff from the fruit juice, I probably would have been sick a lot more. So my body was not absorbing the nutrients and the vitamins and everything to keep my immune system strong. So I was getting sick a lot unfortunately. Now I just want to make sure that that doesn't happen to her so I'm making sure that she's getting you know adequate stuff and same thing for my husband. I have him on keto as well just um, for the health reasons and um, it, I, I just I love keto. I think it's a lot more beneficial than other diets out there. The only one that comes close is paleo which incorporates fruit. So it's up to you whatever you guys want to do. Anyway I'm gonna finish making breakfast and lunch and um, get ready to go to work. And so I will check in with you guys a little bit later. It's very sunny out here. I just got home. I am starting to experience a little bit of uh, stomach pain. Uh, just my body telling me, you know, it's time to eat tomorrow. Just decided to let my dogs run. Big old bus going by, sorry. I went ahead and I went to the store and I got everything that I needed to make my OMAD for tomorrow. And I'm gonna make sure that it's already you know, ready to go so that all I have to do is put it together and eat. And then I'll probably end up eating with you guys. I'm gonna video it maybe because um, that might keep me more accountable to just eating that one thing. And that's what I really have to get back to is just eating the OMAD. That's what I'm planning on doing. And uh, hopefully you guys will join me. I will, um, I'm pretty excited about what it is something I've been craving for the last week so uh, yeah so uh, other than that I'm doing really well I'll check in with you guys in the morning for coffee and my weight and measurement check-in I'll see you then